Welcome to the Process Model Training Series. This is video 3 of 11 basic videos. In this video you will learn how models are created, animating the model, obtaining results, and using the model to improve the process. Create a model quickly by describing the path of the items that you're processing. In this example, we are processing two types of entities, calls and research calls. First, we take the call, then we perform research, then return calls. Notice the automatic connection of process steps. It's possible that simple calls can be answered quickly and not require research. An escape is added to handle simple calls. An operator answers calls and a staff person performs research and returns calls. Just drawing the connection from the resource to the activity assigns the resource. The double-headed arrow describes how calls arrive into the system. There are many ways to describe arrivals. For this example, I'll use a simple arrival and have calls enter the system every five minutes. The time field describes the amount of time the operator will spend taking the call. Time variation is usually entered into this field, but for this example, two minutes will be used. The process escape drawn earlier is a route. Routings describe the direction and conditions for moving through the process. In this case, 75% of the calls can be handled by the operator and need no further action. The complementary route describes the path for calls requiring research. The new name dropdown allows changing the graphic and changing the name statistics will be collected under. The input queue is where things stack up before being processed. The capacity is the number of calls that could be worked on if sufficient staff was available. Later we'll add more staff so I'll make the capacity higher. The processing time for research is 20 minutes. The time to return calls is 3 minutes. The number of people working can be changed by adjusting the quantity. The cost of the staff person is set to 25 and the cost of the operator is set to 20. The simulation button validates the entries and starts the animation. Notice that no additional work was needed to create the animation. The number above and to the left is the quantity in queue. The number below the activity is the number currently being worked on. The light above the resource shows its status. The on-screen billboard shows basic statistics automatically. At the end of the simulation, performance stats are available automatically. In this model, 70 research calls were completed. On average, it took 670 minutes to get back to the customer. That's over 11 hours on 25 minutes worth of work content. The operator was busy about 40% of the time, and the staff member, well, he just quit and found a job someplace else. He's busy almost all the time. After creating a model that represents the current system, new ideas can be tried and performance tested. For this example, we could change the number of staff. Or, we could see what happens when we cross-train the operator to handle research when not busy. Let's see how that would work. With that change, we'll run the model again and view the results. Now instead of 70 research calls, we've processed 102. Instead of 11 hours to return a call, it now takes under an hour. And instead of having an underutilized and overutilized resource, both are being used about 70% of the time. Although this model is simple, the concept has been proven for hospitals, manufacturing facilities, service centers, and government operations around the world. To learn more about the details of the interface, view the next video in the series.